Hey there, you sexy Americans and non-Americans that are possibly watching this. That's okay, because we're celebrating the 4th of July and I'm all decked out in my 4th of July gear, little flag earrings. I'm making sangria three ways for our festive 4th of July feast. So what I have here is a beautiful amount of fruits here. We have our strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, cute little star cup pineapples, so cute. And then of course my lovely little star watermelons. The first thing you'll want to do is wash all your fruit very well. Get a fruit and vegetable spray wash and wash off any dirty nasty pesticides that may be on our fruit here. Berries are really known for trapping a lot of dirts and pesticides and icky stuff. But I buy organic. That is the way to go. I really recommend it. Maybe not for the pineapple if you're like, whatever, he's got a little shell casing. That's up to you. If you really want to support the organic sustainable farmers, I say buy organic. It's really worth the price because they really take care of their produce. Anyway, enough of like green Heather, like, oh yeah, I'm so green. Okay, it's time to get to making some sangria. So you're gonna wanna first, after washing your fruits, cut up all your little star-shaped fruits, just like this. So you wanna cut this sexy beast about a fourth inch thick. Oh yeah. And just show am. Keep these leftover sexy bits because we are going to use those later. I will show you how. And then look at that. You get yourself a cute little pineapple star. Mm-hmm. We are ready to roll. I have three beautiful juice containers. They all come with lids. And I washed them recently, so they put a little water on the inside, and I was like, oh, it's okay. I'm gonna be filling them with liquid anyway. So take the lids off those. And the first one we're gonna make is a non-alcoholic sangria. Okay, I know you're saying, boo-hoo, wow, wow, wow. Like, why, Heather, why? Why can't we have the alcohol? Oh, well, I am healthy, Heather. But, you know, don't worry, we're gonna get to the traditional sangria soon. I mean, if you're not a drinker, that is good, good for you, good, good, good. Then use apple juice, you can use apple juice instead. But the first way I'm gonna do it is with coconut water. Refreshing, hydrating, full of potassium. It is nature's sports drink. It's now, part of electrolytes is potassium, sodium, and magnesium, and phosphorus. Those are all parts of electrolytes. But it also has vitamin C in here too, 70%, woo woo, and calcium, a little bit. Not a whole lot, not enough to meet like the daily value or anything, but it's still good. So, we're gonna pour that on in here. So it takes about one and a half. You wanna leave a little extra room. Coconut water is a little cloudy, but that's okay. And now you can add your fruit. You can add your berries. So we got some blueberries there. That looks gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. Some strawberries. Love me some strawberries. And you can add some pineapple stars. Bill, there we go. You can even add some raspberry too. Or if you don't want to put the strawberry in, put the raspberry in. Either way you go, we've got one sangria already sitting and ready to just soak up all the juicy goodness of these awesome fruits here. Okay, so that is done. We have coconut water sangria. Another thing you can do with this is add a little bit of watermelon juice or pineapple juice left over from the pineapple bits and you can make it a little more flavorful. The second sangria we're making is a sparkling water sangria. I love sparkling water. 
So we have Italian sparkling mineral water here. And I'll give it that nice bubbly feel, like you're drinking something fancy, but not really. And you're like, oh, this is good for me because there's no extra syrups and nasties in here, like nasty soda has. Stay away from the nasty soda. No, bad. Empty calories, too much sugar, too many fake ingredients, all that corn syrup. Bleh. Oh, the bottle's farting at me. That was rude. Farting all up on my face. Here we go with our bubbling mix. Let me just start adding the fruit in now. Let's take, well that's a messed up star. And this one, I'm gonna add some raspberries, raspberry watermelon, pineapple, sounds wicked delicious. Oh my gosh, I almost knocked that over. If you've been watching me for a while now, you'll know I can get a little clumsy sometimes, but woo, that was a close one. And for this one, I want to add a little bit of watermelon juice for some beautiful flavors in there. And let's top off this little sexy guy with another one of our cute little star cutouts. Now our third sangria is not as kid friendly as the first two. So we have our coconut water, we have our sparkling water with watermelon juice, or you can use pineapple juice or strawberry juice. Choose whatever little fruit you want and flavor that awesome sparkling water up. But now we're on to the third one, which is apple juice. Yeah, yeah. just saying. I have to be realistic here. People drink some wine. It's okay to actually have a glass, okay? It's not the end of the world if you have a glass. Now if you overdo it, that's when we have a problem. I'm going to mix this with sparkling water to give it a little sparkle. So the serving size for one female adult is going to be five ounces of wine. For men, they can have two glasses, lucky men. But no, really, it's okay to have one glass of wine every now and then. Heart healthy, they say, especially the red wine. Now I'm going to do two ounces of Gran Amonia or Cognac. You can have Cognac if you want, but this happens to be Gran Amonia and Cognac, orange liqueur and Cognac, whatever. I'm not very familiar with my liquors, so don't judge. Don't judge. And then it says a half cup of sugar in normal sangria recipes. I really don't want to add sugar just because fruit has natural sugar in it, but I have sugar in the raw and agave here that you can use or we can revert back to our watermelon juice. So you'll use about one cup of this awesome watermelon juice. You'll start sticking in your blueberries and some more beautiful pineapple. I'm glad pineapple is kind of bendy. This works out really good. And now we can put in some strawberries and raspberries. And just eye your amount that you want to put in. There ain't no rules up in here. Okay, I just tasted it. It could probably use about another half cup to a cup of this awesome watermelon juice. And now we garnish with a cute little star. And there we have it. Sangria three ways. Now one suggestion I have is to serve to guests. Put it on a skewer. You can make this a beautiful skewer and put a few blueberries in between and the, the leftover little scraps from your star you can put the little nubs on here like this there we go put it in the glass and voila pour your little mixture um hi i'll take non-alcoholic okay coming right up And a little splash of watermelon juice. And voila, everybody's happy. Feel free to garnish with more watermelon too. Mmm, I'm just gonna enjoy my little cooler like this. 
I hope you enjoyed these recipes in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you have a wonderful, happy, awesome, and safe 4th of July.